Asana free version tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Asana for your project management. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, as you can see, I'm on their website and we're just simply going to go ahead and click on get started and sign up. Now to sign up, you can go with your Google account or you can continue with your email. And once you have signed up and added your verification code, you should be good to go in here. You just enter in your full name and password and click on continue. Choose the role, choose the function that best, you know, describes your work and click on continue. And right now you can go ahead and, you know, create a new work and continue. So we're going to click over here, click on this one. And now we're just simply going to go ahead and select what we want to do. A project and process management, personal task management or portfolio workload, whatever you want to do. And then just simply click on continue, add in the name of the project, you know, and then click on continue. And right here, you can go ahead and invite other people over here. And over here, you have to create a few tasks. So we'll just, you know, go ahead and add that. Task number one, task number three, and click on continue. Then you can go ahead and do, you know, like groups. So to do, doing, and done, or um, whatever you want to do, click on continue. Now you can choose the view of the project. Uh, what I like is the board one. You can go with timeline, calendar, uh, list, whatever you want. But I personally like the board view and, and click on continue. And now we're here. You can invite all of your teammates and you simply add in their email and you should be good to go. And then just simply click on continue and you are good to go. After that, you can download the application, but we'll skip that for now. And here we are. This is how it will look like. Over here, you will have all of your tasks right here. And over here, you can manage them accordingly. And over at the top, you will have your view. So you can change the view. So you have list, timeline, dashboard, workload. And of course, you can click on this tab to get more options as well, like a Gantt view uh, or note section as well. And of course, if you want to add uh, like a section between them, then you can just simply click on the add section button and you can add them and you can even move these around as well. So if that's what you wanted to do. And also, if you wanted to change the name, just simply hit the three dots and you can go ahead and change the name of any of these sections. And on the left hand side, you will have all of your main options. You will have projects, your team, uh, your goals and portfolio and other options as well. If you wanted to create a new project, just simply hit this plus icon right next to the project section and you can create a new project. And yeah, over here you have the Ask AI. They also have an AI tool where you can go ahead and add that as well. And then you have the customization option where you can go ahead and add different, you know, options so we have different rules over here and different fields so if you click on field you can go ahead and change uh you know field type uh, you can go with a priority status uh, you can select multiple options right here and you can select the type of name that you want to give that field to of course over here you can see we already have them uh, over here, we can see in fields, we have priority, we have low priority, you can change it to high. If you want to edit these options, just simply click on the edit option and you, there you go. Now for the high one, I want to change it to a red color. And for the low one, I'll go with a green color. And that looks good. And this is priority and this is single select. And over here, you can add the description of it as well. So like so, click on save and there you go. You have now changed the priority. You also have status. So if you click on the option on status, you can go ahead and select that as well. So very simple. This is how you add like these different fields within the task. And as I said before, if you want to add a task or create a new task, you simply click on this button on add the task. And over here, you type in the name of the task. So over here is going to be the name of task. And then oh, down below, you can go ahead and select a person you want to hand over that task to. So basically an assignee. So we'll just click on the person that we want to assign. And then we want to click on the due date as well. So we'll just say it's due in two days. And then if you wanted to add more options to that, just simply click on the task. It will open up the tab right here. And then you can go ahead and add uh, different uh, priorities to it. So it's a medium priority and 
the status is going to be, you know, that is going to be filled by the assignee. And over here in dependencies, you can add dependencies as well. So if you want, like, for example, if task number three depends on task number on this task, then of course, they also have to be completed. So keep that in mind. But yeah, let's remove the dependencies for now. Over here, you can select the project and you can select and change it to any section you want. Right here, you have the assignee. And over here, you can add a description of what you want. And over here, you can add a description for this task so that, you know, people can see it or the assignee can see it, what it is. And over here, you can add like a sub task if you wanted to. And you can add like a different uh, a comment section as well. If you wanted to have more options, you just hit the uh, bar button and you will have all these different options. So you can go ahead and just simply select the section that you want. And after that, just simply add whatever it is that you want to add within that section. And also, if you noticed, you have all these different options over here. So here is the attachment file. Here you will be able to attach the file if you have any. Uh, here are going to be your subtask. Here is going to be the task link. So just simply copy the link and give it to whatever person you want. This is the full screen option. And then these three buttons, you will have all these different options. So you can have milestones, uh, mark as approval. So, uh, you know, it depends on you, whatever you want to do with all these different options. But yeah. There's also another option. If you click on customize, we have these rules. So these rules are basically, you could say shortcuts or notifications that you can add to your word project. So for example, let's say we have these different rules, right? So task is added to this project, add to collaborators. Task is added to this project, create a subtask. You know, you have these different rules that you want. So for example, let's say if you wanted to create a rule that whenever a task is completed, right send a message to such and such place or to such and such person so you can create a rule like that by clicking on the rules button clicking on create a custom rule and then over here when a task is moved to a section there you go all right check if section is add condition you can add a different condition done there you go now whenever a task is moved to this section right here done then do this then you can say you know change the completion status or change the assignee or over here you can find add a comment or add or remove a collaborator and if you wanted to you know send messages to the an external option like an email then you can click on the external actions and then it will send a message or a direct message to your slack group or to send an email it depends on you but yeah you can create these different rules and once it's done whenever someone you know moves it to the done section or any other section that you wanted to add it to then they will get a message so you can create simple rules like these or whatever complex rule you want to add and yeah very simple this is how you do it this is how you use asana and this was for free of course there is a payment plan so if you click on the billing section you can see these are the plans right here so we have starter and the advanced plan it, it costs almost $11 for the starter plan and $25 for the advanced plans. And down below, you can see all of the goodies that you get with each plan. So very simple. This is how you do it. This is how you use Asana for free as a beginner. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take care and goodbye.